Well, my brother and I just met up to start training his llamas. That's him. His name's Tyson. Hey, I'm Tyson Gunderson. I am Kirsten's brother. I live in Butte, Montana. I've always been around trained llamas, and I wanted to get some of my own since I live so far away. Now I'm going through the trouble of trying to learn how to train them. This is Rafe. And Rafe. you said Rafe is starting to be bossy? Rafe, after the tick situation, is yes. So the first thing that I recommend doing is just trying to get the llama's trust. So we're going to do just some cornering and then back away. So I'll approach the llama, get him to hold still, pet him, then back away. So you'll see that they'll freak out and freak out a ton. And then once they decide that you're the boss, you'll see their body relax. And that's when you start to approach. So the same thing, I would do this like for a couple of days in a row, you just put him in a small pen and get it to the point where he doesn't even want to move anywhere. He just stands there when he sees you coming. Tell me what you want done with him. What is it that he needs to learn? Does he need to learn trailer, leading, he's manners? Not very, he's not very good with the trailer. Uh, when he gets angry, he just starts spitting. Okay. And I don't know what I'm supposed to do when that happens. But once he knows that you're the boss in every situation, he should stop. So we'll teach him trailer. And then when he gets out in the mountains, when he matures a little bit, he should not spit at you anymore. Okay. I'm Brendy Gunderson. I am married to Tyson Gunderson. So Kirsten's my sister-in-law. We have eight llamas. We have seven boys and one girl. Um, and we want to take our llamas hiking and camping with the kids. And we just need to get them trained so that they can come with us. Can I see your shirt? What's on your shirt? What is it? What is that? What is it? It's a llama? What's his name? Scout. Scout? Scout. Mm -hmm. All right, buddy. So it's the same as leading. You want to apply pressure until they do what you're asking and then dro drop it immediately. Step up. So I give him a verbal cue and then I'll give him a physical cue of step up. And if he ignores me, I'll just increase it. Step up. Good job. Good boy. Do you want to open up this side door and we'll come out the side? Sure. Out we go. People that train llamas, they like to use the treat system reward. I don't. I always just go to the neutral place and pet their neck. Good job. Great do you want to do any okay. of it? Hey. And sometimes sunglasses are intimidating, just as a, just so you know, they see themselves in them, and it's scary. So you have to make sure their body lines up. He thinks you're pulling him into the trailer. He doesn't understand. Yeah, there you go. A little too far. I always make it look easy, I don't know. But you do it every day. I do it all the time. It's like it's somebody that tries to kind of teach somebody and just Yeah. So I always make it, all of this look pretty easy, but I want uh, Rafe to get used to Tyson working with them because he's going to be the one that's working with them. So we're going to let him take him in and out of the doors. Yeah, he doesn't listen to me. Just make sure, pull him over that way and give him a lot of space. He doesn't feel like he has enough space. Come on. Let's go. Give him a little jig. Step out. And now let him think about it. He's he's a little worried. Now give him another cue. Step out. And take a step when you pull. Let's go. Step. So you always want to do a reward in the same manner. So if you're petting the back of the neck, come to the left side of the llama, pet him on the back of the neck. Or if you know however you're gonna do it, do it the same way. And give him a pull. You don't want him to eat while he's working. You can let him when you're not asking him to do stuff, then you can stand and let him eat. Huh? Good boy. Can I bring this Pokemon and this pine cone to Grandma? Step up. So on this. Pokemon and this cue. Good job, buddy. Good job, bud. Good job. Now that we're done with the llama training, we're going to show Tyson and Josh how to do saddles. So we're gonna work on making saddles and showing them all the steps to do that. It's a lot of work. We make all of our own stuff, so we're gonna show you how to do that. And we're gonna show them at the same time. So you can start setting these up. You can see. I was told they are supposed to be returned in better condition than what they were given here. 
That's exactly what I said. But <laughs> Our jigs are so messy. They're so messy. They have Gorilla Glue yeah. everywhere. So, all right, so we're gonna get gloved up. Bo's gonna start our little tutorial now. Josh, you want a bottle as well? Okay, you do that. You do that one, Tyson, and Josh will do that one. Okay, grab your wood, and you're looking for any knots. If this one has no knots, so it doesn't really matter. You can't use them if they have knots? Just to make sure they're on the inside. You want to pick your prettiest wood, and that's the one you want up. Oh, I see. So you have a low, high, curve. So on the bottom piece, I'm going to write low, high, curve. You see what I'm doing here? Getting all the wood wet. The middle one gets both sides. Yep. And the top and the bottom just get one. Just the inside. Okay. Now, okay. what you're going to do is you're going to flip this over. Yep. Grab your glue. Like a peanut butter and honey sandwich. So you want to do it on each edge first. Yep. Because the edge is the hardest place to get glue. And then do a zigzag. Yep. And touch it. And it's probably plenty. Okay. Now grab this. And you need to spread it on every piece. And what you, how that's going to look is something like this. You come up with your own system. It up, it comes out the edges. Spots. I don't feel like I got any dry spots. That's what you're looking for. They're wetting them down because the glue needs moisture in order to dry properly. Make sure so it's going like that, you're down so slow. You can't see it dry. You gotta go faster. Okay, so this is the hardest and most important part. And so what you're looking for here, Tyson, is see your prong. Yeah. So you have to go corner to corner right here. You're gonna work from right to left. Right, so you're gonna get this one flat and so along see, that edge. See how everything here is matching up? I'm 90, yep. you're, I'm flush. If you're like this, it's not gonna work. If you're okay. on this side, it's gonna be screwy. So you have to always be against here. And this is the hardest part, is making sure that you do this and you keep it straight. Because when you do this one, the, this whole thing's gonna have a spin. Twist. So, I wanna get these or doubled if up. I hold it here. And then grab one of those. Let's protect your wood so that the stuff doesn't cut into it. Yep. Okay, now tighten that and don't let those slip. I'll let what slip? The oh, one underneath, you have to hold both of them. You have to hold it because the one underneath is going to want to go like this. Be wonky. It is wonky, so you're going to have to yeah, figure out how to hold it so that neither of them. It's an art. If anyone's ever wondered why you can't buy a llama saddle on Amazon for $25, this is why. It's a lot of time. It usually takes about 20 hours start to finish on each saddle before it's completely done. Do you remember all your instructions perfectly? So you're going to just nail it? He's got a model, didn't remember. Huh? It does help to have one set up next to you, so you can just kind of copy it. <laughs> well, we're going to call it a night. Sun's gone down. We've got our training, our saddling, and all of our everything. Thanks for watching, guys. If you liked what you saw today, subscribe to our channel. There'll be more Llama stuff tomorrow or the next day or in a couple days.